In this video, we're going to find the level curves of this function. So the level curves of a function are the two-dimensional curves that are given by this equation. f of x, y equal to a constant. So these will be two-dimensional curves. So to find the level curves, we always start by setting this equal to a constant. So now what do we do? Well, we just replace f with whatever is here. And the goal of this question is to figure out what these two-dimensional curves are. So at the end of the problem, we'll be able to say, oh yeah, it's a circle, or oh yeah, these are ellipses, or oh, they're hyperbolas. We're going to figure it out in this problem. Now we have an e here. So to get rid of the e, we can take the natural log on both sides. So we have ln e, 1 minus x squared plus y squared equals ln c. So we're here. These cancel, so we have 1 minus x squared plus y squared equals ln c. I guess now we can subtract the 1. So we get negative x squared plus y squared equals natural log of c minus 1. You can rewrite this as y squared minus x squared equals natural log of c minus 1. And so those are the equations of the level curves. And now you can see that they are two-dimensional curves. Whenever you have x and y both being squared and you have a minus, if you recall, these are hyperbolas. So the answer to this question is hyperbolas. So as long as you get to a point where you can identify what the two-dimensional curves are and then just write the answer down, you're good to go. Uh, sometimes a lot of people will plug in specific values for the level curves. That's a good exercise to do too. In my view, it's more important just to understand what is the shape you're looking at. So you have infinitely many hyperbolas in this case. I hope this video has been helpful. Take care.